This little beast is uh, Nicator Americanus, uh, also known as a hookworm. Uh, I got this from a sample of moss that I plucked from my yard about, uh, well, it's now January 2013. I got him about, uh, I got the moss about uh, August or September of 2012. And it's been in a very small little container with a lid. And I added uh, about half a milliliter of water just to keep it going there, kind of alive. And yesterday I uh, added a little, little bit more water. It was starting to dry out, and then I uh, used the pipette to suck up uh, some of the water, pushing the uh, tip down into the moss, and then sucking out a little bit and putting it on a slide. And you can see in the background sand grains and uh, other detritus. And this is the only worm. Usually there are quite a few of them. And these will infect humans. The larval stage can uh, pierce the skin, usually bare feet, which is why you don't want to let your kids run around barefooted. Uh, when you get these, Uh, they have a very complex stage that involves going through the lungs, which they do damage there, and then going into the small intestine. Uh, really disgusting little animal that you want, might want to look up on Google. And it's estimated that uh, six hundred million to uh, 750 million people are infected with it at any time in the world. It used to be quite prevalent in the U.S. down south. People go barefoot a lot. And they're just everywhere. Uh, you can take samples of dirt just anywhere you want in your garden, in your yard, anywhere and you'll find these things so you want to be careful however I have seen in a single drop of sample water see here you can see why it's called a hookworm this is an adult uh, and also, this is the first one I've ever seen with anything green in its gut. Apparently, it's uh, been dining on the uh, moss or an algae that might be growing in the moss. I've never seen it filled with, uh, with green before. It's always just a brownish gray, maybe a golden color. And here in this one at the very tip there, you can see a little on the inside of the hook, you can see a, a small line, and that's the anal tract going out to the surface. And this is his head end. You can see his mouth there. He doesn't have teeth. It's more like a sucker, more like a... a uh, a snail that you might have seen on the aquarium glass. This that's the adult now. The larval stage has a uh, has teeth, and they can get in this through the skin. And, and it's so small that you you don't feel it, and you don't know it's happening. You can also uh, get them through ingestion. 
not washing your garden vegetables good enough? Uh, this is a multicellular animal, by the way. And uh, I'm using a 40x objective, which is... There you can see the anal line on the inside of the hook here. Not quite there. It's in focus now. The bottom. There. Goes in and out of focus, but uh, you can see it. So this view you're looking at here, this is magnified approximately 400 times. And here's a, uh, got sidetracked here when I was recording this. This is an insect leg. That's his foot there at the left. Hair follicles on the leg. And there's this, there's this joint. And there you can see where it was ripped off. This is no doubt, this is decaying matter here and find this worm back to the worm this is the head end again you can see the uh, gullet there that little thin line in the middle leading back to the gut and there's the gut which is the whole length of it, the animal almost except for the head and the and you can see where the anal pore came out. And that's the end of this.